Meghan Markle's sad day morning Philip as friend says she also lost family member. Meghan Markle had a sad day on Saturday as she watched a live stream of Prince Philip's funeral from her mansion in Santa Barbara, her biographer Omid Scobie said. He said the somber royal occasion marked a low moment for the Duchess of Sussex because she has also lost a family member. He was interviewed by ABC News as millions of people tuned into live coverage of the royal funeral a week on from the death of the consort. Mr. Scobie, a writer and journalist, said, although Meghan isn't here, she is, of course, supporting Harry. Her mind is very much on the situation over here. We know that she's supporting Harry in this very difficult week for him. But she'll also be sad because this is also the loss of a family member for her. He added, it'll be a sad day for her. Prince Harry left his heavily pregnant wife and young son at home in California to make the 5,400-mile trip back to the UK alone. Meghan, 39, had been advised by doctors not to fly, a spokesman for Buckingham Palace said. And a source in California told People magazine that the Queen, 94, understands why the Duchess was unable to attend the funeral. The insider said both Harry and Meghan were in contact with the Queen after the death of Philip. The source added, Meghan expressed condolences. The Queen understands why she can't travel at the moment. Meghan sent a handwritten note to the funeral which was placed on a floral wreath inside the church. Flowers from members of Europe's other royal families were also lined up inside the chapel ahead of the ceremony. As well as the traditional dressing of floral arrangements and family wreaths, bottles of hand sanitizer, a familiar mark of the coronavirus pandemic, sat next to adorn the vast nave area of the church. It made for a royal funeral unlike any other. Harry walked into the chapel behind the coffin in a poignant moment that may have brought back happy memories. Philip was present in the chapel in May 2018 as Harry exchanged vows with Meghan. But at yesterday's event the nave, which was packed with family and friends at three royal weddings in recent years, was an empty space filled only with the sunlight streaming in through the magnificent stained glass windows. There were four singers, a conductor, royal marine buglers and state trumpeters. There were no rows of pews packed with mourners, but instead, the sparse floor lay bare, allowing for the handful of singers and musicians to carry out their roles in a socially distanced manner. During the national minute's silence before the service began, only the soft sound of birdsong could be heard in the grounds of Windsor Castle.